Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Andrian 4 Light Pendant. This is the 136310. So, very, um, very nice pendant. Love it. Um, have sold this quite a bit for dining rooms. I've also sold it uh, for uh, actually foyers when you come in the front door if your ceiling is high enough. We'll talk about that in just a quick second. So this is the one that's probably better for uh, you know, smaller apartments and condos where you're going to have a smaller table. There's a larger one, the 136305. That one is like 42 inches long. That's going to be more um, in line with people who have like a 72 to an 84 inch long table. I think this four light is a little small for that. This is good for a 60 inch table or a square table or a round table too. Uh, that's like 54 inches round, something like that. So let's get into the size of the fixture itself. When we get into uh, talking about the body of the fixture, we're not including these telescoping rods. So on this fixture, we're looking at the bottom of the fixture to the top of the fixture body, 13.5 inches high, and it's 19.7 inches by roughly 19.7 inches, so it's a square. It's going to be hanging from a 5-inch actually 5.3 inch square canopy that's going to go over your four inch junction box without a problem and let's talk about the adjustable ranges now so a second ago we were talking about the fixture height of the body down below but now we're going to be talking about the overall height and that's going to be talking about from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself if you're familiar with Hubberton Forge they have a patent on this whole telescoping rod system that has a clutch and a little hex nut right there and inside of this is a friction sleeve so the hex nut when you screw it with a hex wrench screws in against that friction sleeve and locks it into place so it can't go up and down but during your installation you'll be able to, to kind of make it go up and down and you're, you can order this among three different rod lengths to get you three different adjustable ranges. So we're going to talk about those now. So now we're going to be talking about from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling. We never talk about parts. The short is going to allow the bottom, this to be a range, the bottom overall height, 28.3 to 37. So this is the one if you have an eight foot ceiling and you're putting it over a dining table you're going to be getting. Standard is going to be 34.7, actually 34.2 to 48.8. And the long is going to be 40.3 to 58.6. So if you guys need this to be shorter than the short, let's say you need this to be shorter than 28.3, I can do it short as a custom. If you need it to be longer than the 58.6, I can do it longer as a custom. We do customs every day. It's just one of the things that we do, we excel in. Customs add a little time, add a little money, not returnable, but like I said, we do them all the, all the time. Best thing is just to drop a quick email to us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. Tell me what you're looking for, and then I can send it through customs. We do it kind of as an email thread, and it comes back to me, and I send it back to you. So those are going to be our adjustable ranges. Let's talk about our glass for a second. So this is going to use a, a 168 glass, if I'm sure about that, and it's, and it's like this piece right here. Um, it comes in three different types, and remember, it's going to be this shape, but I'm just showing you types of glass with using these samples. So opal, bright white, crisp contemporary white. It's going to be your most contemporary, most modern. Pearls and off-white that warms up to a vanilla yogurt. has a slight swirl pattern to it. It's very pretty. It's kind of a linen color. And then after that, you're going to have stone. And stone is going to be the more rustic one. Stone has these little striations and lines here and there. And this is very random. Remember these little lines because this is hand-blown glass. So this is going to be the one that's kind of on the beige side that warms up um, to an amber when it's on. Like I said, it's going to be the more rustic one. And then pearl is going to be the transitional one. And then opal is going to be the more contemporary one. So those are going to be your three glass options all in this shape. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of a candle. So, you know, on, on certain things I'm not crazy about the opal, the white one. But on this one I think it's, it's fine. It also leads, lets the most light out. So let's talk about lamping on this. This Hubberton Forge on their website says that this has a G9 halogen socket. It's going to ship with this halogen ball, but in reality, you can use LEDs in this. And when this uh, fixture was designed many years ago, there weren't a lot of LED options out in the marketplace. But guess what? Now there are. Oops. Now there are. And I'm going to show you kind of the, you know, over time how many of these things have kind of come out. So these are LEDs that can fit into this socket. And we kind of go with an order of appearance, more or less. So this one is like five years old. This one is probably three years old. And then these two are kind of more recent. So these are the phosphorus ones. When you start seeing 
these LEDs out in the world that have these orange interiors, that's phosphorus. These are the pad ones, the older styles. This is a silicone one, which is still kind of cool. So uh, the little LED pads are, are trapped in the silicone on this one, and it's called a cob, like a corn cob. So these do it, you know, there's all, and there's more beyond this. So I actually have a 75 watt dimmable one that I don't have right here, but um, we use it in our showroom all the time. And that's actually a cob one that's kind of a cylinder, about yay big. And that's pretty cool too. So don't be afraid that, you know, this is a, it's going to trap you into being a halogen fixture. It's not. You can do all this kind of stuff. But just remember, technology is, is your friend this time. And it is... Um, you know, traveling ahead, so you're going to be able to get more of these things in the future. I, actually, right now, this is going to ship with us with um, four 60 watt halogens, and I would just use the 60 watt halogens to begin with until these things get a little better. So you're going to have them anyway. Make sure you never touch a halogen bulb with your hands, like what I'm doing. It diminishes the life of the bulb. But use a little tissue on it just to, to kind of put it in and out. But, you know, these things work great. They work great on any dimmer. They throw a beautiful, warm light, <clears throat> and they throw a lot of light. And they're not as hot as, you know, they, yes, they're hot, but um, they, they don't, you know, they're not going to burn your room up. So, like I said, uh, maybe use the halogens to begin with, and then, you know, play around on, online on, like, 1001 bulbs or 1000 bulbs or Amazon and kind of put in G9, actually put in G9 LED and and just look at all the options that are going to pop up for you. So that's going to cover you on um, on this. As far as limits go, you can only do four 60 watt halogens. There's no limit on LEDs because LEDs use like you know 1.5 watt or two watts, and they don't generate much heat. The only limit is you getting the LED into the piece of glass, and I have yet to find an LED that's too big to get in this. So you're good to go there. So I think we talked about um, so we talked about adjustable ranges, glass sockets. Let's talk about finishes. So if you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, midway down, left-hand side in the red tabs where those pictures are, you're going to see a finishes help guide. Can you click on that for me? If you do that, you're going to see a video screen at the top, YouTube video screen. It's me talking to you about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's going to be a color chart. And it's going to have all nine finishes. This comes in pictures with A on them or B on them. And it's going to show this range and variation that you can expect to see on a lot of Hubbardton Forge fixtures. But it's going to be talked about in the video above. So watch the video, use the chart, bounce back and forth, and you'll kind of understand the whole finishes aspect of Hubbardton Forge. When you're done, go back to that chart, click on any of those pictures, and you can see a whole bunch of stuff pop up in whatever you guys wanted to see. So, you know, click on burnished steel, and use, this is a great fixture to be in burnished steel, quite honestly. I think it looks awesome in that. Um, so click on that, click on any of them, and, and you're pretty much good to go. So um, we have the larger one on display in our showroom, the 136305 on the first floor in burnished steel and opal glass, which is that one. Uh, our showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6, and um, we have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures on display. We're the biggest showroom in the world. We only sell their product at the end of the day. That's what, what, what we really do. Um, spread across two floors. Showroom open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. And um, you can see everything that's on display on our website. There's actually, in those red tabs again, on the left-hand side, there's a What's on Display button. Click that for me. It's going to show you what we have on the floor before you guys ever come here. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. You have to come here to go through it. I will help you put the boxes into your car. It's a great deal, so it's great to use the clearance center and use our showroom at the same time. Um, when you order your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from Handmade in Vermont, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that has 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Um, the details are on our site because some bigger things can't come back. We'll always tell you what they are. Um, in addition to that, we have a um, rush program. So. Hubbardton Forge normal production time is three to four weeks out the door. We can cut that time in half without any problem, 99.9% .9 of the time. And it's very inexpensive. So if you need this faster, any Hubbardton Forge fixtures faster, just drop a quick email and I can kind of walk you through that. Sales at handmadeinvermont.com. And we spell out the word Vermont. Or you can call 802-446-2400. Phones are open every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So I think I covered everything. If I missed something, just let me know. Would love to see you guys here. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Bye-bye.